Hello guys, welcome in today's session. I am Professor Fayyaz Kavadi from Department of Mechanical Engineering. In today's session, we are going to learn what are precision points and the JPCU spacing method to find out the precision points. From unit number five, synthesis of mechanism from theory of machine subject. Generally, a frequent a requirement in design is to cause an output link to rotate, oscillate, or reciprocate to a specified function of time or motion of input link. This is called as function generation as we learned in previous session. While designing a mechanism to generate a particular function, it is usually not possible to produce mathematically exact solution. But that mechanism feeds the function at only few points or positions, which are called as decision points, decision positions, or it is called as accuracy point. Figure shows a graph of arbitrary function y is equal to f of x. It means as the input link moves to x, the output link moves by function y is equal to f of x. For the range of x is equal to 0 up to x and plus 1. In figure, two curves are drawn. One is actually generated, which is shown here by dotted line. Dotted line. And another is a required curve. Another is a required curve. It means the mechanism does not fit an exact solution. But at few points, on it satisfies with the required function, and those points are called precision points, which is shown in figure as P1, P2. P3, P4, up to last, second last is Pj, and last one is Pn, okay? And last, Pn plus one, up to Pn plus one. For example, you learn in your practical also, while taking a readings, you can't get the exact readings due to variation in instruments, due to variation in material, due to variation in person which are taking readings. Okay, so the variation you are getting and error you are getting at, which is not same as the theoretical values. But at some location you are matching the theoretical values as well as practical values or experimentation values as you learn in measuring practicals measuring uh, the dimension of uh, any component okay so add particular values where theoretical values and practical values are matching these points are called as decision points okay in designing, now the next topic point is structural error and mechanical error. In designing, a mechanism, accuracy is one of the important factor. Sometimes it is possible to design a mechanism that will generate a given motion theoretically. The difference between a required motion and actual motion generated is called as structural error. The difference between a required motion and actual motion generated is called as structural error. Also, there are some error because of manufacturing problem. The error producing form tolerances in length of links and bearing clearance is called as mechanical error. So, the structural error, the amount of structural error in the solution can be affected by the selection of decision points 
that that means recession point is related with structural error not the mechanical error now for locating the precision points in coba mechanism chebyshev spacing method is used to find out precision points the number of precision points is generally equal to the number of fixed parameter that may be used in design and varies between 3 to 6 that means that precision points may be three precision points four five and up to six so as per chebyshev spacing for n position in the range of x s up to x f that means x s is the starting position of x and x f is final position of x is given by this formula this is nothing but chebyshev spacing formula x j that means x at first precision point is equal to 1 by 2 x f final x plus starting x final x plus starting x here summation of starting and final x divided by 2 minus 1 by 2 x f minus x s that is nothing but average average of final and starting divided by 2 into cos of pi into 2j minus 1 divided by 2n divided by 2n you and you have to find out the cos value of whole this term whole term which is nothing but pi into 2j minus 1 divided by 2n okay so this simplifies xj is equal to 1 by 2 xf plus x s minus 1 by 2 that final minus initial x is nothing but delta x final x minus starting x is nothing but delta x divided by 2 into cos of pi into 2j minus 1 divided by 2n for solving the numericals in the examination you have to remember this formula for as per chebyshev spacing method that formula is not given in the examination okay and while solving the numericals we have you have to remember one point that is nothing but cos term this cos term you have to convert into degree here j is either 1 either 2 or either 3 okay value of j is integer value 1 2 or 3 Four or five or six, okay. That j is an integer value, so this whole term is an integer value. So you have to convert that into degree by multiplying 180 by pi. Okay, that term you have to convert into degree. Cos of that degree, what term you are getting here? You have to convert that value into degree by multiplying 180 by pi. remember this point now next where xj is the precision point xj is precision point xs is starting position and xf is finishing of final position delta x is the range in x so final minus starting that is nothing but delta x and j is the number of precision points 1 2 3 up to n so n is the precision points okay now come to the problem statement by solving this numerical we can understand the chebyshev spacing method how to find out the uh, the precision points okay so synthesize problem statement is given here synthesize a linkage to generate the function y is equal to x raised to 1.1 over the range 1 to 3 1 x is in between 1 to 3 using three precision points okay 
So this function which is given here, y is equal to x raised to 1.1. This function may be logarithm function, trigonometric function, or exponential function. Okay, whatever function is given in the problem statement, according to that you have to find out the value of y, y1, y2, y3, as per precision points which is given in problem statement. Here three precision points we have to find out. So we have to find out y1, y2, and y3. Because uh, before finding that y1, y2, y3, we have to find out first x1, x2, and x3, as there are three precision points. Okay. So given uh, data, uh, I am uh, I have written here x x starting x here range is given one to three. So starting will become x starting will be here one. And x final will be become here three because x is in between one to three in the range or the range of one to three. So x starting will become here one and x final will become here three. So delta x is equal to final minus initial. Final, which is given three minus starting x. So three minus one is equal to two. That is the value of delta x. You have to find out. Three precision points using three precision points is given, is given in problem statement. So n will become here three, and where j is become one, two, three because three precision points we have to find out. So we have to find out x at one, x at two, and x at three. So we have the Chebyshev spacing formula here. X j is equal to x uh, at j is equal to this formula. Okay. Now the first x one we have to find out here x one. So putting j as one, x one is equal to one by two. X final is given three plus x starting, x initial of x starting is one. X starting is one minus one by two into final three minus one into cos of two pi into two. J is one because we have found x one, so J will value of J will become here one. Okay, two into one minus one divided by two n. Okay, so after solving here into multiply by one eighty by pi into multiply by one eighty by pi for multiplying uh, for conversion of Uh, into degree, this integer value into degree. So pi pi will get cancelled here. So value of you will get the value of cos in degree here. First, this is one term, and from this term we have to we have to minus that complete term. Okay. So after solving, where I am getting the value of x one is one point. One three three. Okay, so value of x one after solving this equation, I am getting here one point one three three. Now the second x j x at second position. Okay, x two x two at second position. So one by two again three plus one minus one by two into three minus one final minus initial is three minus one only. This value will change here. Cos of pi into 2j. J is here. 2 now. Okay. X at 2. So x at j. So j is equal to 2 here. So 2 into 2 minus 1. 2 to the 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 pi divided by 6 into 180 by pi. So pi pi will. Get cancelled here again. So after solving this equation, the value of x two is getting here two. Okay. Now third precision point. We have to find up to three precision point. So x and three. X at three is equal to one by two. Three plus one minus one by two. Three minus one. Final minus initial. Final minus starting. Cos pi. Here two into j value is three. J value is 
3 because we are we are going to find out x at 3 so j is become here 3 2 into 3 minus 1 3 to the 6 minus 1 5 5 divided by 6 into 180 by 5 okay after solving this equation the value of x3 is getting here 2.866 the value of x3 getting here 2.866 now after finding x1 x2 x3 we have the function is given y is equal to x raised to 1.1 now we are going to find out the value of y1 y2 y3 at x1 x2 x3 okay now to find out the value of y1 y2 y3 by substituting the value of x1 x2 x3 in the equation okay in the function given here y1 is equal to what is x1 x1 is 1.133 raised to 1.1 so the value of y1 is getting here 1.147 now the y2 is at x2 what is x2 x2 is 2 2 raised to 1.1 is equal to you are getting here 2.143 now y3 is equal to at x3 what is the value of x3 x3 is 2.866 raised to 1.1 okay so value of y3 is getting here 3.184 okay for accuracy purpose i am taking three digit 3.184 so this is our solution so following three precision points satisfies the given function y is equal to x raised to x to the power 1.1. So x1 is equal to 1.133 at that time y1 is equal to 1.147. x2 when x2 is equal to 2 at that time y2 is getting here 2.143. And when x3 is 2.866 at that time y3 is getting 3.184. So this is our solution uh, uh, for given function for three precision points. These are the three precision position or three precision points. Okay. So at the end of this session, student, you can you can understood or uh, uh, understood the what are the precision points and how to find the precision point so to synthesize the mechanism. And generally, it is a four bar mechanism to generate the given function. Thank you for watching this video.